Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews. I am going to start something a little bit new, and that is testing with some H&N slugs out of a variety of different air guns. We want to know how do these H&N slugs perform out of some of the most popular air guns, and maybe if you guys are looking to shoot slugs, what might be some great air gun options for you to consider, especially to use these H&N slugs. I've got a whole variety of different sizes and weights, and we're going to test them out over the course of a little video series. But today, we're going to start with a very popular air rifle, something that probably many of you already have, and that is, of course, the Umar rex gauntlet 22 cal this gauntlet 22 cal is not exactly stock we've painted it we have uh, done some internal polishing um, but really as far as like the uh, regulator and main components and everything go on it guys it's a stock gauntlet just just cleaned up a little bit and of course painted this is my son's gauntlet and he wanted to make it look his own so he went at it with a couple of cans of spray paint and did just that but other than that guys this is really a very stock gauntlet um, and so I think it'll give you a good impression of how these H&N slugs can perform. I've got my ATN Excite 4K on there to film the results. We've got our target set out here at 50 yards. And guys, I know already because I've done some testing with this thing that it does amazingly with these slugs. That's why I wanted to start right here, guys, with the gauntlet. So let's head on over to the bench and see what she does. All right, guys, so there you have it. Do you want to turn your Gauntlet 22 cal into a laser beam? Try some of these right here, the H&N slugs, the 217 23 grains. These are what I found to be the best, most consistent out of this guy right here. The 217 25 grains also did pretty good. And really the 218 25 grains didn't do bad either. For one reason or another, the 218 23 grains just really didn't like this barrel for some reason. So that's why we do this testing for you guys. And really, if you're looking to try just one H&N slug option in your gauntlet, try the 217-23 grain H&N slugs, 50 yard accuracy like that, guys. I'm pretty much calling that gauntlet laser beam style right there, guys. So there you have it. That's pretty cool. One other thing, guys, about the gauntlet and using slugs in general is that the mag accepts the slugs and the action seems to cycle with the slugs very well. Some air guns I've tried, guys, just because of the different shapes of magazines and different ways that actions work, just don't seem to like the slugs as much. Sometimes the, the magazines, what happens is the, the slugs, because they don't have that sort of in indentation in the middle where a lot of magazines have a like a rubber band that kind of holds the pellet in the slugs don't have that so they've they've just got a cone shape and so what it can end up happening sometimes is the slugs will slip out of the magazine or they just kind of are loose in the action and they can cause jams and just other problems so really not every rifle is going to work that great with slugs but in particular this umarex gauntlet does really seem to perform well with slugs, and especially these 217-23 grain H&N slugs I've got right here. So I hope that this is cool stuff for you guys. Definitely guys, let me know if you like this stuff. This is a new series I'm gonna be doing, showing the results with the H&N slugs and a variety of air guns. And like I said, we wanted to start with something I thought many of you might already have, the Omarex Gauntlet 22 cal. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews. I'm Ben outdoors, having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you in the next video.